everyone, I'm Lisa Cheplak, nutrition chef with Green Our Planet, and I have a question for you. What does a dinosaur, a lion, and a person have in common? Do you know? Well, they all need to eat. Some dinosaurs ate plants, and others only ate meat. Lions hunt for their food. And did you know that they can eat 10 to 20 pounds of meat a day? And people, including soccer players and other athletes, eat both plants and meat, and usually eat at least three times a day. But what do people eat? What do you eat every day? Well, you already know from a previous lesson that the best foods have lots of nutrients in them. Nutrients are what helps our body grow big and strong. You also know that vegetables and fruits have lots of nutrients. And that candies and donuts and cake don't have as many nutrients. They are okay to eat sometimes, but to grow and be strong, we want to eat foods that have lots of nutrients. So what kind of foods have the most nutrients? Do you know? Well, there are five kind of basic foods. Do you know what foods those are? Did you say fruits and vegetables? You are correct. First we have the fruit group, which is things like oranges and apples, bananas and pineapple. And then we have the vegetable group, which are things like spinach and broccoli and celery. What are your favorite fruits and vegetables to eat? What's a third food group, do you know? Did you say bread? You are correct, the bread group. We call the bread group the grain group because this group includes rice, bread, oats, and even popcorn. So what is another food group, do you know? Did you say milk? You are correct. The dairy group includes milk, cheese, yogurt, and soy milk. So do you know what our fifth and final group is? Do you have any guesses? Did you say the protein group? You are correct. We call this group the protein group because it makes our bodies and muscles strong. It includes meat, eggs, chicken, fish, beans, peas, nuts, and seeds. That's the protein group. So now that you know what the five food groups are, do you know which ones you should eat from every day? Should you only eat cheese? Should you only eat broccoli? Should you only eat bread? No, of course not. Do you know what the secret is for growing up to be healthy and strong? Healthy, taking care of your body by eating well and exercising regularly. Do you know what superheroes eat? They eat from all five food groups, and you should too. Food groups are different kinds of food that have different nutrients. The more food groups that you eat, the more nutrients you ingest, which helps to make your body healthy. Is this statement true or false? The dairy group includes milk, cheese, and yogurt. True. So do you wanna try making a meal using all five food groups? You do? Well, I have this special plate that's gonna help us do just that. This is my special plate that has all five food groups on here. I have a section for fruits, vegetables, proteins, grains, and dairy. And we can build a meal using each of those five food groups. Let's get started. 
Which food should we put in first? How about our fruit group? I have some oranges here. We're gonna add some orange slices to our plate for the fruit group. I'm gonna peel my orange and add it to the section on my plate. Next, I have some broccoli. Do you know what food group broccoli belongs to? Did you say the vegetable group? You are correct. Let's put our broccoli pieces into our broccoli section on our plate. Next, I have some brown rice. Do you know what food group rice belongs to? Did you say the grain group? You are correct. We're gonna put our brown rice into our grain section on our plate. Next, we have some black beans. Do you know what food group black beans are in? Did you say the protein group? You are correct. We are gonna add the black beans on the protein section of our food group plate. Now we have four foods represented on our food group plate. We have our fruit, our vegetable, our protein, and our grains, and we have one left, and that is the dairy group. So for the dairy group, I think we're gonna have some, a cup of soy milk. And that will complete our food group meal. So now we have a meal using all five food groups. Well, how can you make sure you're eating from all five food groups every day? Do you know? Well, one thing you could do is set a goal. Do you know what a goal is? A goal is when you decide you want to do something and you do it. Usually you have to work at it. Do you remember when you were younger, you wanted to learn to tie your shoes, but you didn't know how? So what did you do? You practiced tying your shoes every day. Eventually, you reached your goal of being able to tie your shoes. And do you remember that you wanted to learn how to ride a bicycle? So how did you learn how to do that? Well, you set a goal of practicing so that one day you could ride on your own. So if you want to be strong and healthy when you grow up, then you can set a goal to do that. Instead of just drinking milk, you can add some fruits and vegetables. Instead of just eating cereal, you can add some proteins and dairy. So I have a challenge for you. Get a piece of paper and a marker, and first, you're going to draw a circle on it. Then divide your circle into four squares like this. Then draw a little circle next to it like this. Now I want you to draw a food in each of the food groups to represent that food group. Are you ready? Let's do this. Here, I'm going to draw an apple for our fruit group and an orange. What are you going to draw in your fruit group? Next, I'm going to draw a piece of broccoli in our vegetable group. And maybe a carrot, too. I love carrots. So there's our vegetable group. What did you draw in your vegetable group? Now I'm going to draw a cup of milk in our dairy group. What are you gonna draw in your dairy group? Next I'm gonna draw a fish in our protein group and an egg. What are you gonna draw in your protein group? And then finally, for our grain group, I'm gonna draw a piece of bread and some pasta. What will you add to your grain group? Now you have a food group plate of your very own. You can put this on the outside of your refrigerator to remind you to eat from the five food groups every day. I'm Lisa Cheplak, nutrition chef from Green Our Planet. Stay healthy and happy eating.
And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it, which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all of the life on it. Bye! Is this statement true or false? To learn to ride your bike or tie your shoes, you need to set a goal. True. Is this statement true or false? We need to eat from two food groups every day. False. We need to eat from five food groups every day. Dairy, protein, grains, vegetables, and fruits. Is this statement true or false? If we eat from the five food groups every day, then we will grow up to be healthy and strong. True. Is this statement true or false? To be healthy means that you are sick. False. To be healthy means that you are taking care of your body by eating well and by exercising regularly. Is this statement true or false? You can draw a photo of a goal to help you remember it. True. Vocabulary. Nutrients. Substances and food that help us grow and be strong. Healthy. Taking care of your body by eating well and exercising regularly. Goal. A goal is something that you want and that you work to achieve. Like a football player who wants to make a touchdown or a soccer player who wants to score a goal. Food groups are different kinds of food that have different nutrients. The more food groups that you eat, the more nutrients you ingest, which helps to make your body healthy.